G'day, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this 2019 Nissan Navara RX 4x2 dual cab. But before I do so, a bit about us, Pacific Toyota. Uh, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards. This one be my main location at 235 to 245 Mulgrave Road. As you can see, we're very stocked up. We're actually doing a yard change at the moment to try and find more room for our cars. Um, but look, across the road, we also have our new vehicle showroom, Lexus Acan showroom, and our service centre. Look, the virtual tour is basically designed to go around the car in complete detail. I'll point out any marks that are on the vehicle and basically represent the vehicle in its current condition. The reason we do it is obviously you're going to see the car eventually, so it's a lot easier for us to address that information or the, any defects that are on the car while it's here with me. So I'm just going to start with the front bumper and work my way around. To be honest, it looks pretty new. There's only really one chip on the bumper that I could find there. Um, but I'm just going to continue around. Got that nice chrome styling. See me in the reflection. Hello. Um, but all nice and clean and tidy. Once again, just like the other side, a few little baby marks, just like so. Uh, but nothing too major there. Um, just continuing up around the lip of the bonnet now. All very clean and tidy through there. Although it does look like there was probably a little bit of a bat dropping there, um, which you can sort of see. It's very hard. The camera actually does it well as, at bringing it up compared to my eyesight. Uh, but just continuing around, all very clean and tidy um, and very well looked after. Just with that mark, it doesn't actually, it's not peeled or anything. It just looks like an oil slick on there, um, but just wanted to sh show that to you. So, uh, Continuing around the vehicle to the base of the A-pillar and down. As you can see, all nice straight lines through there, which is what we want to see. No major marks or anything like that. All very clean and tidy. Plenty of tread on the tyres, you're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Suspension's all been very well looked after. You can usually tell if it's, a, if it's been on gravel or anything, anything like that. The mud usually tends to stay in the drive line, um, but that's all very clean and tidy. So, tells me it's been a highway warrior this one. Just continuing down that side, panelling. All very clean and tidy, other than the one little mark just through here. Oh, it's like a combination of marks really. Um, so just through there. Not sure what's caused it. If it's a concern, let me know. More than happy to speak to management about it for you. Once again, me in the reflection. G'day. Got the roof racks, genuine Nissan ones. Got a little key lock on them. Perfect. Just gonna open up the interior. So all very clean and tidy throughout the side of the vehicle. Uh, once again, dash, all very nice. Automatic. And you got the nice black duck uh, canvas seat covers there as well. So, all very well looked after. Rubber floor mats installed. Same with the interior at the back. All very clean and tidy. Um, once again, rubber floor mats. All got the new, well, they would have been new when they went in, but black duck seat covers. Look like new. Roof lining through there. Brings me to the back, got the fuel latch here with a little key. So I can pinch any fuel off you. Um, rear tires, about 50% of the way through, maybe, oh, maybe only 40%, but still plenty of tread there. Suspension system through there as well. It's coil overs in these. Not the leaf spring rear like you normally see in every other one. So it just gives it a little bit smoother ride. It's got the rear ladder racks on it tray back it's all very handy um, it's got a tow bar on it as well seven pin flat plug so um, the tow bar tongue's actually sitting inside the tray uh, sorry inside the front footwell um, it's all very good through there um, once again all very well looked after perfect back to the cab um, no major marks on these doors. Looks like there might be a couple little baby ones through here. So one, two, and three on the door. Just through there. Very small. I'm um, just going back up to the front. Oh, yeah. To the front headlights there and down. Um, plenty of tread on the tyres. Once again, suspension system. All very crisp and clean, so all very handy. Um, just coming up that roof line on this side. It's all very tidy. 
Um, it's coming inside the vehicle from this. Um, as you can see, same as the other side. That's that tow bar tongue. It says QG. So I'm wondering whether it's a Queensland government vehicle. Um, I will check the book shortly. So. Now, the main driver's side. So obviously this is usually where the main wear and tear is because it's pretty hard to drive it without coming through this door. So all very clean and tidy. Um, vinyl floors through there. Rubber the mats can do a bit tidy up, but we'll get that detailed before it ever gets on a truck. Canvas seat covers again. I'm um, just going to jump on in. Okay, turn the car on. Yeah, put the string wheel. So it says start up procedure. Okay, so we've got 18,000 on the clock. Um, cruise control is standard. You've also got the um, controls for your uh, infotainment, what do you call it, head unit here. Um, on top of that, another cool thing is a little switch down here, which you can press, and that actually opens the, the window up in the back here. So uh, I'll just show you by me doing it, if I can find it, there we go. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's a Nissan thing, which is pretty nifty. Um, also got your aircon selectors, auxiliary, USB, power supply, as well as gear selectors. So all very well looked after. Another power supply in there. Um, I'll just go to the service books. Oh, that doesn't normally happen. <laughs> just wasn't put back on by the looks of things. So that goes on there and that goes into there. It's pretty hard one hand, just like so. But it's going to get the books out. It's always handy to happen in a video. <laughs> okay. It's also where the aircon filter is. So uh, we can use it as an excuse to say I was showing where the aircon filter goes. Um, just going to the service book for your servicing. Where is it? It's very hard to do this with one hand. Uh, okay, I'll have to check um, because it says here the last service was done through Mike Carney Toyota. It looks like they haven't stamped the book. Um, it would have only been due for one service because there are only 15,000 Ks going by this. So. I'll just have to confirm um, the service history. So I'll come back to you with that one. But the car was a government vehicle, owned by the Department of Housing, so all very clean and tidy. Um, I will just show under the bonnet and then that will sort of conclude your virtual tour for today. Um, let's have a look for the bonnet latch. Under here. Oh, looks like new. Um, all very clean. Pretty much looks like new under here. So all very clean and tidy. Yeah, very clean car. It's what to expect for 18,000, so 18,000 kilometres that is. Look, if you have any questions, give me a call. 0410 839 933. I thank you for your time. All the best.